हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट स्टार्ट दी वीडियो सिलेक्शन ऑफ सोमेटिक हाइब्रिड सेल बिकॉज आफ्टर द सोमेटिक यू कैन से आफ्टर द प्रोटोप्लास फ्यूजन नाउ वी गेट द हाइब्रिड सेल्स बट वी हैव टू सिलेक्ट दैट वेदर वी आर टेकिंग द करेक्ट हाइब्रिड सेल और वेदर सेल्स दे आर हाइब्रिडाइज और नॉट सो देर आर मेनी वेज लाइक फर्स्ट इज कॉम्प्लीमेंटेशन so this method is simply based on a principle that when two different parent cells they fuse with each other to form hybrid cell in that case any mutations between these two parent cell it can revert back or you can say it can removed when they form hybrid cell means in the hybrid cell if there is any mutation in parent cell it can be removed or recovered in the hybrid cell so if you take the complementation example here chlorophyll deficiency complementation in this example you can clearly see we have a two strain first strain a and strain b strain a is albino viricense means it is a colorless or you can say albino strain due to viricense mutation while other is strain b is also albino means white sub lethal mutation when these two strains they allowed to fuse the protoplast of strain a and b they allowed to fuse to form hybrid cell so here these viricense and sub lethal now they comes in the hybrid cells and which ultimately now make the green colored cells because both of strain a and b they were albino now in the hybrid their mutation has been recovered or you can say complemented now the hybrid cell they form the green colony so this by this you can select the uh, hybrid cells means you can see the two cells which you have taken for the fusion if they have any kind of mutation so that mutation will be recovered or removed in the hybrid cell second example under the complementation is oxotroph complementation here we use two cells which are generally deficient in one or more enzymes like here we are taking the example in which we take the two parent cell that were nitrate reductase deficient and we only because they were nitrate reductase deficient so they require the this enzyme to degrade the nitrate available in the media but when we fuse them both of these parent cell they were not allowed to grow in the nitrate medium because they do not have nitrate reductase due to mutation but in the hybrid cell after the fusion this mutation has been recovered or you can say this have been complemented so now this hybrid cell can grow on the nitrate medium because it has the nitrate reductase enzyme which can use this nitrate as or you can say metabolize this nitrate and can grow so this is another example under the complementation now second way of selection of hybrid is use of metabolic inhibitors means here in this method we just treat the parent cells which we are taking over fusion so we just treat the parent cell with some inhibitors like iodoacetate etc and after the treatment only hybrid cell they can grow others they become mat though you can say the parent cell they become metabolically inactive due to these inhibitor but after fusion hybrid cell they are able to grow or able for the division so like for example iodoacetate pre treatment it was used for the recovery of somatic hybrid between nicotiana sylvesteris and nicotiana tabacum in each case the protoplast that was treated with the iodoacetate they were unable to produce but the newly formed protoplast they were continue to develop and yield the hybrid plant as i told that in the hybrid cell this metabolic inhibitor it uh, this you can say the cells that were inhibited by the this inhibitor now in case of hybrid cell hybrid cell can grow after this treatment also so by this we can also select our hybrid cells next we can also uh, by use of this uh, visual characteristics we can also identify or select the somatic hybrids like for example use of morphologically distinct cells 
means if you fuse like here in the example we are taking if we fuse green chloro chloroplast cells with the protoplast which contain that starch granule so after the protoplasm hybrid cell it will contain half portion of protoplast and other half with the distinct granules so we can morphologically see under the microscope that if that fusion was between green chloroplast and the protoplast containing distinct starch so both chloroplast as well as starch granules will be there in the hybrid so you can easily select them by the morphological analysis next fluorescence labeling here if we label the parent cells with different color dyes and in the hybrid cell both color dye will be there like for example if we stain or labeled our protoplast by isothiocyanate which flourish in green color and other parent cell with rhodamine isothiocyanate which flourish in the red color so in case of hybrid cells we will get both that is green as well as red color labeled there because hybrid cell contain the characteristics or you can say it contain the complete nuclear genome of both the parents so the double fluorescence label of fusion product they can be recognized by using the fluorescence microscope so that's all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much